the own Minister of Information and Culture, Alajulai Mohammed and his team, uh, certainly deserve a commendation for compiling the ministerial scorecard series and uh, the to-be-unveiled PMD legacy portal, an attempt at keeping a faithful record in audio, in video, and print the achievements of the Buhari administration in the last eight years. The whole exercise is important for various reasons. First, it is a historical record and a fairly reliable one because it is a nearly contemporaneous record of what transpired in the eight-year period under reference. Second, the records being kept in many different forms help to reinforce their accuracy and their authenticity. Third, this detailed record, even though some will argue that it is the bias view of active participants in the matters being recorded, will nevertheless provide very useful source materials for researchers and historians in the future, whether they are for or against our administration. In other words, by undertaking with great diligence and commitment this incredibly difficult task of record keeping, the Honorable Minister and his colleagues in this effort have provided a body of systematically structured facts in writing, in photography, and film footage on the most recent eight years of almost a quarter of a century of democracy in Nigeria. Fourth, the scorecard series is more than a self-report card. It is also a programmatic agenda that has provided a platform for ministers and senior government officials to highlight their challenges and unfold their plans for their respective ministries and agencies. But some aspects of this record-keeping exercise stand out for their sheer poignancy. The 19-minute teaser of the documentary series and the testimonial series that we have just seen are just two of some of those star features. Through the testimonials of actual beneficiaries, we're able to practically present the largest social investment program in Africa and also gauge the impact of the programs and some accompanying policies over the years. Hearing from the citizens themselves, the petty trader who has been able to expand her, her business because of the trader money uh, opportunities given, the unemployed graduate who benefiting from the NPAR program discovers a new pathway to prosperity and also fulfillment. In addition, we see and hear recorded for history the passengers who could not hide their excitement at the seamless operation of the modern railway system or the state-of-the-art airport terminals. And the president of the Rice Farmers Association, who told us how rice production in the country has increased exponentially under the Anchor Boras programs. These are real people provided with a springboard to do more for themselves and for their communities. Real people inspired to hope and to believe that Nigeria can be positively transformed in our lifetime. But aside from the ultimate usefulness of this work as an anthology of the life and times of the Buhari administration, it is also a fascinating and riveting account of unfolding facts and stories of some of the most intriguing events in contemporary Nigeria. And I think these accounts must be given the widest possible reach across traditional and social media and new media. Let the testimony and documentary series resound on radio, on television, and across social media. We should let the compendium be circulated in hard and soft copies, far and wide, to engage and provoke and maybe even inspire Nigerians and others who may come across it. So as we launch this compendium, uh, a documentary, the testimonials, and the legacy portal to the public, we must salute the cross-functional effort that has produced these achievements the tireless inputs of civil servants and political appointees, the men and women, young and experienced, 
who are working to reverse the developmental tides that stood against the government and the face sometimes of fierce criticism and great sacrifices have pursued the realization of our promises for better security, for laying a foundation for prosperity, and for creating a fresh burst of hope for the future. And of course, the work of government continues. Government, as we know, is a continuum. It is the desire of every elected government that the unfinished business of its administration finds continuity and fulfillment in subsequent governments. And I believe I speak the mind of the president when I say that our administration considers it a privilege and an honor to serve the people of this great nation, as we have done in the last eight years. These accomplishments are the hard-won dividends of a social contract that we entered into with the Nigerian people when we came into office in 2015. Still, time and history will no doubt speak more eloquently of our stewardship. But for now, we can confidently say that we have given of as much as we could. Life for the living also offers a continuum, such that even when we are no longer in office, we, we can and must continue to pursue the fulfillment of our country's great promise and potential wherever we find ourselves. Congratulations again to the Ministry of Information and Culture for this impressive, innovative, and robust archival material that I'm sure will provide a veritable template for future administrations. Congratulations to all the ministers, all the ministers, all the ministers, heads of agencies, and their respective teams for your hard work and commitment through the years. And on behalf of His Excellency, President Muhammad Buhari, I say thank you for your service. The accomplishments rolled out in these documents are a testament to your hard work, and you should be as proud of yourselves as we are of you. Thank you for your kind attention.